Hello, just going to do a couple of quick fixes on this uh, guitar. It's a Jackson Monarch with a 3 pickup. Uh, it's pretty good right out of the box, um, right off the wall at Guitar Center, but a few things that have come up. Um, one, of course, is the tone control, which is super loose, so I don't know if I can fix that or if it's going to need a new pot or what. Uh, the jack, loose as well. That should be easy to fix, but pretty low quality jack, a bit thin um, stamp piece there, and then just a generic jack, I'm assuming, so too bad it's a bit low quality. Uh, the setup's actually okay, right from new, the guy who did the setup. So that's fine, it's pretty good. Uh, pickup height's probably okay, but I'll check all that. Uh, see it needs new strings, you can see the G string here has corrosion on it. So they've been on there for about a year and a half. Well, it's 2015 guitar. It's January 2018, so they're probably you know, a few years old now. But it's been, we got it in uh, early 20, late 2016 or early 2017, I'm not sure. So it's been played for about a year. I think tunes are okay. I'll check the nut height, which seems really good. Actually, very low. Yeah, it's really low nut height. Definitely can't lower that anymore. So that's good. Another item I was concerned about was the fret ends. Actually, seem pretty good. It's a little bit of overhang on there. But it is all bound, so I don't really want to get in there with a the file all that badly. Eh? So I think I'll just leave that. I'll be fine. So just do a few fixes and then should be good uh, to go. Oh, it's not a locking tailpiece. Unfortunately, just no name. Oh, there's the number on the bridge. That's good. Let's make sure I remember that the screws go up to keep the intonation right. I'll check the intonation too, but it looks like this lease has been adjusted. Hopefully, that's accurate. I have to do the fretboard too. I'll put a little linseed oil on that. I know some people are going on about just use water and keep it clean, but I'm preferred I prefer to use linseed oil. I guess that the wood grain uh, really pops out and looks a lot better and it lasts for years. I have guitars I put linseed oil on three four years ago and they still look great and don't need any maintenance at all so I'm pretty big fan of it.
So just standard uh, knobs, no set screw, just generic plastic insert with a brass, or well, metal outer painted gold, or tinted gold anodized or something. Oh, that's tight. That's good. I'll try that in the app.
So I'll just put that good old 942 Ernie balls on, super slinkies. No special, um, not the unbreakable ones and not the super high output ones, just the regular ones. They're still great strings, I you know. The other ones are, you know, if you really look for them, maybe they are a bit better, but these are great strings. So it's all working again. I just find the action a bit too low. Uh, it's just buzzing out way too much. The neck relief is okay. It's a little low at about 10 thousandths, but the camera's picking this up, but it, the string height's about one mil. These come up about another millimeter to around the, bottom of the string should be about the two. Not that shows up better like that. Anyway, this has come up a little bit. Probably got, messed up when I was cleaning the body and hit the little thumb wheels here so let's take them out a little bit and I'll try a half turn at a time. I loosen off the strings a little bit just to make sure uh, that will turn easily. Let's see how it leaves us. Yeah so it's over one now about one and not even one and a half so a bit more. Another half turn. <laughs> Ish, not quite a half turn, but try it there. Yeah, so that's about one and a half. I'll try that. I'll play it and try that. The far side is about one, so that's pretty good. Uh, it's a bit low. Let's do that about quarter turn out, just a touch. <laughs> yeah, I'll try that and play it again, but. I'm not going to say this one to any spec, um, it would be a Gibson spec if anything, but I'm just going to play it, see how I like it, and just, just move it a quarter turn at a time. It's probably good as it is right now, but if anything, just a touch either way, just so it feels just right. Okay, so that's about it for this thing, just the tone knob, tighten up no problem, it doesn't uh, uh, kill switch anymore, it won't kind of kill the signal. The input jack tighten no problem, I didn't have to take it apart and hold it. It's gambled and tightened it and uh, tightened up no problem, so it's nice and tight now. And I found that the uh, machine's heads were a bit loose, so tightened all them up as well. They're a 10 mil, whereas um, these guys were 3 8 these guys and the input jack, all 3 8 So it should be good now. Fresh set of strings, a few minor usual adjustments and tightening and that's about it. It's a good guitar, so not a lot wrong with it at all. Just usual maintenance. That's about it. And then the uh, linseed oil on the fretboard, I think was good. I like it. It's a little focus in on there. You can really see the grains real well once the linseed oil goes on. And just a tiny, tiny bit. I didn't put too much on, even though I didn't put much on at all. And that's my preference anyway. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye.